Pyrotechnics, powerful music, scarves being waved, real excitement in the Wembley air. Manchester United supporters, well, those of a certain age anyway, have seen them attempt to win and indeed end up winning the lot in football. Only one thing matters today, and that's winning and retaining the League Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, the teams will now be presented to today's chief guests. Time for the team presentations to today's chief guests. Lord Mawinney, the chairman of the Football League, a position he's held since 2003, but he's stepping down on March the 15th. And Martin Thomas, who's the director of Molson Coors UK Limited, of which Carling, the cup sponsors, is a division. Patrice Evra wearing the captain's armband for Manchester United today. Ryan Giggs, as I'm sure you know, is out with a broken arm that he suffered in the league game between these teams just over two weeks ago. Gary Neville is a substitute, and Rio Ferdinand is injured with a back problem again. Just saw the United mascot there, seven-year-old Charlie Simpson, who was chosen because of his fabulous efforts in fundraising to aid the disaster appeal in Haiti. Villa's mascot is six-year-old Ben Clay from Droitwich Spa. His identical twin Oliver suffers from cerebral palsy and attends one of the Acorns hospices, whose name Villa proudly display on their shirts. An admirable wave of sponsorship cash, that, from the Villa chairman, Randy Lerner. Martin looks tense. Doesn't he always before big games of football? Definitely more yellow and green. Then red, white and black here today. First of all, of course, we'll have the national anthem. And today it's going to be sung by Camilla Kerslake. Camilla Kerslake, a 21-year-old classical singer from London. And she was in form, let's hope these players are today. Stylian Petrov is the Villa captain who will lead his players down the line of United opposition. Hit after a virus and uh, exchanging hugs with fellow Bulgarian Dimitar Berbatov, who will be delighted at getting a starting place for United today. And there's Dave Tatlock of two para. As Gary mentioned earlier, told he'd never walk again after being paralysed by shrapnel in Afghanistan in July 2008. A Manchester United season ticket holder and a wonderful moment for him. Let's take a look at the teams. The biggest decision that Martin O'Neill had to make was on his goalkeeper, and he's gone with Brad Friedel, a League Cup winner and man of the match with Blackburn in 2002. Brad Guzan, therefore, on the bench, and unlucky having played in every round and played a major role in Villa being here. Warnock, Milner, Downing and Heskey are all in the England squad to play Egypt here on Wednesday. Two others, like Bon Lahore and Ashley Young, will be hoping to make the final squad named for the World Cup. No doubt about the United headline, Wayne Rooney is only a substitute, a move that hasn't impressed some of the United fans I've been talking to, but then Sir Alex Ferguson has always been about winning trophies rather than friends. No van der Sar either, so it's Kushak in goal and Berbatov and Owen up front. Remarkably, this is Michael Owen's first Wembley final with all of his major moments with Liverpool coming at Cardiff's Millennium Stadium. 16, Michael Carrick. 21, Raphael. One of those moments for Michael Owen. 
came in 2001, or 2003 rather, when he scored for Liverpool in a win against Manchester United. 2001, he, like Rooney today, sat on the bench, an unused substitute. Rooney, I'm sure, will get his chance before the afternoon is done. Mark Lawrenson is, of course, alongside me. The first thing to ask you about, Mark, is your opinion on that United team selection. Well, just really surprised, Guy, the, the form that Rooney's in. You'd argue that the form of his life, and he really wanted a, a real serious chance to win the competition. you think he would have started. But I suppose it's the insurance policy on the bench. I just find it very interesting that, that both teams actually are going to adopt the same formation today. So uh, that would be certainly interesting. But Rooney on the bench, I think a massive surprise like the rest of the country. Two teams both setting up 4 4 2 with two wingers in the starting lineups. We just saw that Phil Dowd is today's referee, his first major final, his first game at the new Wembley. Got the phone call at the start of the month and described himself as being as pleased as punch. So we're all set for the 50th League Cup final. Rather fittingly. It involves the current holders and the team that won the very first League Cup, Aston Villa, back in 1961 when they beat Rotherham United over two legs. This is all about today. It will be won today, whether we have to go into extra time or indeed all the way to penalties as Manchester United did last season. This is Aston Villa against Manchester United. Emil Heskey knows all about winning League Cups. And he's managed it four times. Scored in the final in 1997 for Leicester against Middlesbrough. And he might just get a chance very early on with Villa getting a free kick. Ashley Young is going to take it. James Collins has made his way forward with Richard Dunn too. Young delivers powerfully. And it's met acrobatically by Everett. Villa force a corner inside a minute. Carlos Cuellar has joined the attacking party. Scored against United just 18 days ago in the Premier League. That one's headed away by Raphael. And Jason Park gives Michael Owen something to chase. Just a token effort at putting pressure on Stephen Warnock. And Stuart Downing, the scorer of two goals in Villa's demolition of Burnley a week ago. Delighted to get his first England call last night in nearly a year. He was a League Cup winner six years ago, although he didn't take to the field in Middlesbrough's win over Bolton in Cardiff. Brad Friedel's last appearance in this competition January 2006 in Blackburn Rovers' semi-final defeat against Manchester United. Brought back in because of his experience. And Mark, I think, simply because Villa want to make sure they have every chance of winning. And that's, yes. that's no disrespect meant to Brad Guzzo. Not at all, and he is a better goalkeeper, isn't he? Milner. Agbon Lahore slipped. Made it easier for Nemanja Vidic. Vidic only playing his second game of 2010. Made his reappearance on Tuesday against West Ham. Missed 11 games with a mystery nerve problem in his leg. Johnny Evans playing in his second consecutive League Cup final. And Thomas Kushak. Playing in his first, he didn't get onto the field last year against Spurs. Ben Foster was, of course, the penalty-saving hero for Manchester United, thanks to his iPod, rather famously. Here's Darren Fletcher. Now G. Sung Park, Owen and Berbatov calling for the ball to be delivered early. When it was delivered, it was straight to Stylian Petrov. Downing tries to switch it over to Ashley Young. Switching will be a feature for Aston Villa. I watched them against Burnley last week, Mark, and... Downing and Young were constantly swapping sides. Yeah, and I think also add Milner as well to the to the two you mentioned. He can play down either side as well. James Milner, who scored in his last three League Cup games. Ashley Young helps it on for 
Gabi Agbonlaho has got the pace and he's getting away from Vidic. Agbonlaho goes down. It's a penalty for Aston Villa. Three and a half minutes into the final. And Vidic was always struggling. It looked for a second when Agbon Lahore actually got in front of him that he was going to go through on goal. And then he seemed to miscontrol the ball a little bit. In the end, I don't think Vidic can have any argument about the fact that he's caught him. The outstretched leg is over. Well, he's got a hold of the shirt, the leg comes across, Everything. it's 2001. Yeah. No debate about that one. Tell you what would have been interesting, I wasn't quite sure whether he was actually onside when the ball was played, tagged on the horn. No doubt we're going to look at that after. No further punishment for Vidic, which is interesting. Yeah. Just a word in his ear from Phil Dowd. Nevertheless, Manchester United may be about to be punished by James Milner. From the spot, on the spot to score! Aston Villa have the advantage in the 2010 Carling Cup final. And the manager is the calmest Villa fan of all. James Milner. It's a good penalty, isn't it? Very, very well taken. But the, you know, the argument, what's the, what's the law guy? Denying a goal-scoring opportunity? Surely he was denying a goal-scoring opportunity, so he should be sent off. We don't want to see players sent off, but he should have been sent off. At the very least, it should have been a yellow card well. for Vidic. Aston Villa right now won't be bothered too much by that. Because they have the lead through James Milner, his ninth goal of the season. And he has been in sparkling scoring form in the League Cup. What about United? A slip from Berbatov as they look to reply straight away. I just had a feeling that Milner may have slipped a little bit as he struck the penalty. Well, it didn't affect him, did it? But there will be quite a bit of that. The rain, I think, is just falling very, very slightly. Well, uh, apparently Groundsman said that if they hadn't put the, had the bubble on it overnight, the game would have been in doubt. Well, you might have seen the England Island rugby match from Twickenham yesterday, played in a downpour, and it was a mud bath by the end, but the Wembley Grand staff reacted quickly, they got the cover in, and the cover has done its job. Here's Michael Owen. A job to do for Manchester United now. Patrice Evra. Berbatov. That's Carrick. Off balance as he struck, he looked down to the pitch, but I don't think that was much to do with the turf underneath him. Yeah, good setup play as well by Berbatov, wasn't it? Yeah, see? Oh, it's tight, isn't it? He's, he's on, he's just on. Agbon Lahore. Played on by United's captain today, Patrice Evra. And Vidic has two grabs at him outside the box and then gets hold of a whole chunk of shirt once they're inside. Well, there was no argument, there was no protest. Probably a sense of relief he stayed on. And Bon Lahore again. James Milner again. Stewart Downing breaking forward, he has been given offside. That's the first switch we've seen. But Downing just went too soon. Pretty clear. We often talk about these occasions, needing an early goal to get them going. And that's exactly what we've had. Martin O'Neill has said that winning a trophy is the ultimate. Winning the first is the most difficult. You can feel his nervousness, can't you? Yeah. Pretty sure he just wants to get up and patrol the line, doesn't he? He was recalling this week how the late great Brian Clough was in raptures after winning the Anglo-Scottish Cup in 1976 with Nottingham Forest simply because it was the first and it was the springboard. That explained to the viewers what it was as well. <laughs> Before my time, unfortunately. Well, it won't change the way Manchester United play, will it? Because they're forever pushing forward, as everybody knows, under just Alex Ferguson, so it'll be sort of business as usual. Fletcher. There's Berbatov trying to help it on to Owen. Berbatov then had to put the brakes on to collect from Carrick. And Downing is well and truly mugged by Luis Antonio Valencia. It'll be a free kick for Villa. That's why. Aston Villa have yet to taste defeat in this calendar year. 1-7, drawn 5 in 2010. 
an early decision for Phil Dowd to have to make, but it was a pretty simple one giving the penalty. It was the... Uh... He's just told the players as well to go pop the balloons, look. <laughs> that's, what, that's why the delay is. Extra duty, Jason Park and Carlos Cuellar have been uh, running around. There is still one on there. Yellow and green balloons, interestingly, from the United supporters. It's not Norwich's big day out. Lidic getting stuck into Heskey. It's kept in by Raphael, but given away to Warnock. Likewise, then to Fletcher. No, he doesn't find Carrick. Petrov nipped in to win it. Valencia covering was James Collins. Another slip. There have been two or three. It was Johnny Evans who lost his footing that time. Ashley Young. Pass Ji Sung Park to deliver. Blocked by Evans. Here's Carrick. Should have done better, shouldn't he, Ashley Young? He had loads of time and space as well. Richard Dunn with half an eye on Berbatov and then looks back towards his goalkeeper and sees that Brad Friedel is in the right place. Here's Milner. Queer. Awful pass. He was looking for Petrov. It was a nervous kind of pass, and it's Michael Owen getting away and brought down by James Collins, who is going to be cautioned here. Free kick for United. And I think Stillian Petrov saying to the referee, well, hold on, where's the consistency? I mean, there's no doubt it should be, but there's also it started from a really poor pass from uh, Carlos Cuellar as well. It's so much time, probably had too much time, in fact. Yellow card for James Collins. Michael Owen getting into his stride. He shrugged off one challenge. He wasn't going to hurdle that one. And Michael Carrick will try to curl one into the right area for United. And he hasn't got it right either. Milner. Only had Bon Lahore ahead of him. He's passed now by Ashley Young. Downing's making a break down the middle. Young. Faced by Carrick. Jason Park. Evans. Herbatov was well dealt with by Collins. Here's Petrov. Sweeping it into Stuart Downing. I think it's pretty clear that Villa have started the brighter of the two teams. There's a nice urgency about them, isn't there? Milner. Downing. Drifts past Luis Antonio Valencia, but going the wrong way as far as Villa were concerned. Here's Emil Heskey letting it run for Agbon Lahore. Vidic to Kushak. Had to hurry with that. Fletcher. Richard Dunn has been dispossessed by Berbatov. Berbatov breaking into the box, Dunn had to get it right. Michael Owen follows up, and United are level. Never mind Wayne Rooney, Michael Owen's on the field to score. Well done. He got himself back, he got himself out of the position where he'd lost the ball. Berbatov picked his pocket, basically, uses his pace and his strength, pinks the ball off him, and all he succeeded in doing was lining up Michael Owen. It was actually a good tackle in the end. Unfortunately for Villa and for Dunn, it just played Michael Owen in. Cool finish as well, isn't it? It's a great finish. Swept home as though his England credentials his abilities to perform at the top level should never, ever have been questioned. Well, Fabio will have seen it, won't he? This is a big few months for Michael Owen. He hasn't yet given up hope on being on that plane bound for South Africa and wearing the three lions. And Fabio and Franco Baldini will be discussing that. Michael Owen, still a goal scorer. Got his first of 2010 against West Ham on Tuesday. He's got Manchester United's equalising goal at Wembley. And what a start we've had to the Carling Cup final. It's 
got the United fans singing. Two goals. Oh, here's Gabiak Bonlahor. Are we about to see a third already? It's gone to the back of the box towards Milner. Ashley Young miss kicks. Evra. That's Warnock winning it. Downing wasn't able to keep Villa on the ball, though. Fletcher to Valencia. Just very open guy, isn't it? Amazingly. We kind of expected that with these two teams, especially the way they set up. Here's Valencia. Raphael. And Fletcher. And Carrick. United passing it around well until then. That was obviously going to happen. Downing away. Milner. And Bon Lahore. Playing over on that left hand side. He's causing all the problems to United. And the two goals have come about because of mistakes from two normally solid centre backs. Richard Dunn's first major final as a player. All those years of trying and striving with Everton and Manchester City. It's not started brilliantly for him here no, today. Well, he, he rectified the situation, but too well. Milner. Heskey darts into the penalty area. Milner's going to go for it himself. Kushak with the parry away. Agbon Lahore. That's drifted wide, and Kushak knew it was going wide. Or oh, the way that Milner just drifted past. His marker was a little bit frightening for Manchester United. A good save from Kushak as well. Too easy. Now there's a thing from an England point of view. Mark James Milner has been terrific since moving into the middle for Villa. Yeah, that's a problem for Capello, isn't it? A nice problem, Mike. Not a bad one. Owen. Villa's throw. Aston Villa won. Manchester United won. Penalty converted by James Milner. United's reply, a goal from Michael Owen. Downing. Milner. All the way over towards Ashley Younger. Slightly hesitant touch from Valencia. He sped away with it a little bit, the second. Here's another look at the United equaliser. Berbatov did well in the first instance. Michael Owen rounded it all off beautifully. And here come United again, with Fletcher finding Jason Park. Park trying to find Owen. Couldn't turn and face goal that time. He had Dunn and Quayer for company. Evra. It's Downing who slides in and he doesn't win the ball. And he's going to get a caution. Yellow card for Stuart Downing. Well, again, can't be no arguments about that, can there? Well, no, there can't be, but... I'm sure there'll be a few Villa supporters who are still questioning why Vidic, his name, isn't in that book at the very least. I'm pretty sure as well that uh, Martin O'Neill had a word with the uh, fourth official over there on the touchline about that as well. Carrick to take the free kick. The usual defensive reinforcements in the other penalty area, Vidic and Johnny Evans. from Carrick, but poor, straight onto the head of Warnock. Do you know, the free kicks and the corners we've had so far, none of them have cleared the first man from both teams. Evra took a little nudge from Agbon Lahore, but United kept the ball. Raphael. Berbatov. Fletcher was making progress in a central position. And the ball was played his way, it was played too late, and Villa had numbers there. And this is Heskey now. 
Ashley Young is wide to the left. Heskey has been brought down by Michael Carrick. And is this going to be a third yeah. booking of the game? Surely. No. Well, the free kick's being given to Villa. Carrick's not being called over. And you can hear what the Villa fans think about that. Well, that's a foul and he's late. I mean, what's the difference between Downings? It's ridiculous. Well, we don't want everybody to be booked, but it was a booking, I'm afraid. Ashley Young with a tester for Kushak, but I don't think it was a delivery that those in the box for Villa would have appreciated. Warnock. Big few weeks ahead for him. Ashley Cole injured. Wayne Bridge stepping away from the international spotlight. He would seem to have the popular vote over Everton's Leighton Baines at the moment, but there's only one man who will ultimately make that decision. Here's Ji Sung Park, who I'm sure will be at the World Cup with South Korea. Breaking into the Villa box here, Berbatov's back heel, and Park didn't get a clean contact. A touch from Berbatov, isn't it? Nice little give and go from Ji Sung Park as well, just a bit of a scuff more than anything. Great awareness from Berbatov. Just thinking of the part that he played, Mark, in the uh, United equaliser, the criticism of Berbatov for so long has been that he doesn't work hard enough, but he didn't half put the pressure on Dunn. Mind you, Guy, if you don't work hard in a final at Wembley, then there's nothing down for you, is there? <laughs> he has scored in his only other previous League Cup final appearance for Spurs against Chelsea. One of those players, sometimes the uh, body language doesn't always tell the full story. Reserves energy for those vital moments. That's how he'll tell it anyway. Milner. The ball cannons off Emil Heskey's face. Here's Fletcher, Heskey's still down on his knees. This is Owen. Berbatov. Fletcher. Valencia has time to steady himself, set himself and cross. Over it comes, couldn't clear Richard Dunn. Should have done better with it. Well, he had so much time as well, nobody wanted to close him down. Here's Downing. Beaten to it, though, by Everett. And uh, the United captain's unlucky that the ball bounces back off him. Unlike Wayne Rooney. He is never rested, he plays in just about every Manchester United game ever. Best left back in the world for you right now? Can't think of too many others. A fit Ashley Cole could uh, yeah. quite possibly disagree. We're very close. Quiet. First lull in the game as Villa just settled themselves down all over again. It has been wide open, it's been played at a great pace. United are finding their rhythm. Carrick. Owen dropping deep to get himself involved. Park going forward, Berbatov going offside. And Friedel had to claim anyway. Phil Dowd is happy that... Uh, Play can continue, gets the thumbs up from Sean Proctor Green. Carlos Quayer. Bon Lahore on the move. Never got a piece of him. It forced him to bundle the ball behind. Goal kick. And bon Lahore, not named in England's party to face Egypt next Wednesday. He has been, of course, Wayne Rooney. That image has just been beamed around the stadium and prompted uh, 
quick chorus of Rooney from United supporters. Downing. Quayer. It's Milner. Disguised little short ball into Downing. Warnock's just threatening to get forward on the other side. Milner hasn't looked that way. Collins. Terrible. Straight to Jisung Park. Who is going at pace and he's skipped over Petrov and Milner's outstretched legs. This is Valencia. Park wants it back. Jason Park's effort smothered by Richard Dunn. That's good block, wasn't it? And that looked like a foul. It is. Raphael on Ashley Young. Daft, 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 daft. Adam facing his own goal. Phil Bowd's just coming across to explain something to Martin O'Neill. They tell him about why he didn't book or send off Vidic, I presume. It's good of him. Don't think he'll explain that one in the ten seconds that that conversation took. Shot of Martin O'Neill, they're trying to sort of take it in exactly what he did say. He'd be pleased with that decision, though. It's a free kick for Villa because of a foul committed on Emil Heskey and Raphael's second foul in a 30-second spell. And he will be spoken to. <laughs> oh, totted up. Cheers from the Villa fans. I don't think it's going to be a yellow card, though. We'll see. I think we've all got that. Well, I'm sure the Aston Villa supporters are thinking, hold on a minute here, just book our players. Ashley Young, Heskey climbing, Heskey again, it was a quick turn, it was an instinctive effort, uh, Kushak got down pretty well. Yeah, looks like I might have just seen it a little bit late, but comfortable in the end. Good turn by Heskey, a little bit of deflection on it as well, I think. Yeah, took the pace off, flipped off Vidic. Here's Owen, and that's out. I know Phil Dowd refereed a United game against Fulham, just under a year ago, when he sent off both Paul Scholes and Wayne Rooney. I was at that game, I remember Sir Alex Ferguson's comments afterwards. He said, well, it's filled out, so what do you expect? I don't know if that's getting into a referee's head. But, uh, oh, you'll be in trouble, guy. <laughs> I'm just, just throwing it up there. Here's Downing. Now Quaya. Kushak didn't look certain how to deal with that. Ashley Young, up goes Heskey, Vidic ahead of him. This is Carlos Cuellar, now Stuart Downing. Couldn't shoot himself, Milner can, but it's gone wide, well wide. Yeah, it wasn't a great ball from Cuellar into to Downing. I thought maybe he'd want to play it in such a way that Downing could hit it first time, but it wasn't to be. Just seemed a little bit hurried into him. Uh, let's have two touches to it. Quayer certainly seemed far from confident about having a go himself. I was, um, wasn't taking any responsibility, was it? You have it. As I mentioned earlier, when these sides met at Villa Park 18 days ago, 1-1, Quayer did score, but that was a more orthodox defender's goal, a looping header. Owen. It's rolled over to Berbatov. Fletcher has conceded possession cheaply to Richard Dunn. Ashley Young. It's on the left now, downing on the right. That will change again shortly. And Bonnehol's been on the left all match so far. Pulled back behind Vidic and Raphael, but only Carrick there waiting for it. Very, very dangerous, don't they, down that left-hand side. And Vidic is noticeably struggling against Bonnehol. Well, I think they all are, in all honesty. And I think the thing is, you see from Aston Villa's midfield, they're, they're all very good, apart from Petrov, at running at people with the ball. There's somebody else who is. Michael Owen. Berbatov. And Carrick. He's made a bit of space for himself, but then 
Didn't make a good effort of the shot. No, that's a couple of left-footed shots he's tried, not particularly good. His only goal in the League Cup in his career came in the semi-final second leg against Manchester City. A 3-1 win at Old Trafford, a win that was sealed late on by Wayne Rooney. Terrific two semi-final matches we saw in Manchester. Good ones in Birmingham and Blackburn too. And the League Cup really came to life in the last round. Manja Vidic. Twice a winner of this competition, both times coming on as a substitute. towards the half-hour mark, Villa won, United won, frantic opening, a little more cagey now. Valencia, Fletcher, well, Jason Park was in a tight spot but did well to keep the ball, Berbatov finding himself a bit of room, he's gone for goal, two deflections, easy for Friedel. Yeah. He had the cheek to ask the referee for handball as well. It's like an Uncle Joe's mint ball, isn't it, the ball? Now you are talking to viewers of a certain vintage. Sorry. Valencia. It's free kick. Ever. Fletcher. Owen has to skip past the balloons. Park. And again. Not a good tackle from Young, but Raphael kept his feet. Evans. Long spell of Manchester United possession, this. Evra runs into Carlos Cuellar, and it's been given as a free kick for United. Cuellar certainly wasn't getting out of the way. No, he's caught him, hasn't he? This has not made a meal of it. Catch him on the knee. I know. Caught him twice, actually. The more we look at it, the more ugly it becomes. I wonder if that might have been a yellow card. Phil Down, I think, is just trying to uh, keep order by not booking a few now. Pencil's about to run out. If the next booking is a Villa player, then uh, <laughs> we will hear a reaction. Carrick's going to take this. Over towards the back. Evans was waiting. Heskey has jumped up with him twice. And it's going to be a corner. United's first of the game. Park's gone across. Here's Carrick. First touch to set, the second to shoot, but Petrov was in his face quickly. It's Park against Downing and now against Petrov. The ball is won by Vidic, taken on by Park, delivered towards Berbatov. James Collins beat him. Yeah, good header that was. Good strong challenge from Heskey on Fletcher. Raphael. Valencia, Carrick, and straight against Petrov, one in the ribcage, Park, that's Owen, slipped and stumbled, 
Just as he threatened to roll around his marker and get into a shooting position. Valencia, United looking menacing now. Owen. Fletcher. Hart went for the header. Berbatov will lose out in the race with Heske. It goes sliding into tackle. He's a new man. Looks as though he's been given the hairdryer too. The all-new, improved, hard-working Dimitar Berbatov. Owen with a, an exaggerated reaction to what he felt was a shove from Dunn. Doesn't take much of a nudge from Richard Dunn to send you flying. Collins. After a bright start when they were intent on attack, Villa are looking hesitant now. Evans. Carrick. Owen. Once more, Michael Owen. Finding room in the centre circle. Finding more room on the right in the shape of Raphael. Now Fletcher. Blocked by Dunn. Valencia. Raphael. It's Fletcher finding Raphael again. Milner only half stopped him. Villa just can't get the ball away from their own box. Sooner or later it will come in. There it is, but uh, when it does, Brad Friedel was ready for it. Yeah, it's a really good start in position, Reddit. And he tries to inject some urgency back into Villa's play with a quick bowl out. Quayer to Ashley Young. Petrov. Three times a League Cup winner in Scotland with Celtic. Collins. There's Heskey. Milner was the easy, obvious ball. He didn't really have one. Petrov. Quayer joins in. Bonlahor has him, his arm in the air in the middle, but the ball never went there. You think, uh, Guy, that both sets of full-backs will be able to get out, and there's quite a bit of space, obviously, with both teams playing two up front, there's no four five ones around, so there's, there's lots of space in the wide areas. Palace Quayer arches his back, looks for Heskey, who was moved out of the way physically by Vidic. Fletcher... Did well to keep his feet. Valencia goes past him, and it's a race between Valencia and Warnock, and Stephen Warnock gets back at him with a wonderful tackle. Yeah, a bit like Friedel before, he read where the pass was going to go, and say, excellent recovery tackle. Good speed, too. I thought Valencia was about to leave him behind. Downing, that's another good tackle from Raphael, and it's one Manchester United a throw. Fletcher. No in calling for it. I think the referee's position helped there. And now, uh, well, it looked as though Park had clipped Ashley Young. Waved away by Phil Dowd. Here is Park. Trying to find Berbatov. It nearly deflected back out to Fletcher. It's throw. And would you say, Mark, that since getting on level terms through Owen, they've been the brighter team? Yeah, they've been the brighter team. I think they've kept the ball a little bit better. Milner. Richard Dunn. Young, 
Doing well against Patrice Everett. And then that's going to be a free kick. Heskey had his arm into the back of Johnny Evans. Thomas Kushak is going to leave the safety of his penalty area to take this. Always a slight risk on a greasy pitch. One slip and it could be curtains. As sure-footed as the clearance could have been. Berbatov gets the return. Through for Michael Owen. And across comes Richard Dunn. United corner. Yeah, good play again by Berbatov. Just wondered whether Michael Owen was going to think about hitting it early. Left-footed, obviously not. Just here as it bounced up. No, changed his mind, didn't he? Wasn't quite sure what to do. Valencia's corner. Friedel goes back to his goal line. Dunn flicked it away. Carrick, it went straight against Milner. Then United arms are stretched out wide, asking for handball. That's Fletcher getting in front of Petrov. And then battling with Downing. Pops out for Warnock. Free kick for Villa anyway. And on they go. Ashley Young. Ashley Young is brought down by Ever. The card's out again. And a Manchester United player's name is taken to great sarcastic cheers from the Villa supporters. I'll tell you what, it was like the toaster, wasn't it? The bread coming out was that quick. Ashley Young had only just hit the deck and Phil Dowd was racing across, yellow card in hand. Oh, that's all right then. Villa will, of course, claim that he's not evened it up yet. Collins. Raphael. Here's Warnock. And it's quiet. We have just caught sight on the other side of the field of Wayne Rooney going through his first warm-ups of the day. Quite intense ones too. This is Ashley Young, and it only just evades Heskey. It was whipped, wasn't it? Downing can't keep it in. Oh, that was cross of the day. Yeah, I just wondered whether Heskey was actually still getting... Oh, he's coming on. And it's Michael Owen. He injured himself, got, you know, the ball that he left. At the guy, that was obviously... That's why he didn't go for it. Well, he's made his mark on the League Cup final. This is where we think Michael... Yeah, there. Oh, yeah, pulled up, pulled up. Hamstring, maybe. Just when it looks as though it's all going swimmingly for Michael Owen again. It's like one of those racehorses he's so fond of. But on comes Wayne Rooney. That's possibly the best substitute you could ever wish to bring onto the field. And you can expect him to tear around like well, a kid at Christmas. Yeah, now. the other thing as well is, I mean, Berbatov can drop deep, can't he? Quiet. Ashley Young. The news from uh, the other side is that it's uh, a hamstring problem, his left leg, that Michael Owen has been forced off with. Be a left hamstring then, do you think? <laughs> oh, I'm not a medical man, Mark. <laughs> Here's Fletcher. He's like one of those thoroughbreds, very finely tuned. They go twang very easily. Evans. Oh. It's a real mess up at the back for United. Vidic clearly obstructed Ashley Young there. He made sure he got in his way. I think that's a, a tried and trusted yeah, defensive I don't, tactic. I don't, you know, centre back union. I think he was just got in his way basically. Look at that. Yeah, you got to get round him. Didn't do anything wrong. I think what Fabio Capello's thoughts are on Michael Owen might just be uh, thinking, well, that solved me a problem. James Collins. Up to Heskey, flags up against him. Free kick for United. They're just better, Villa, aren't they, when they have that little bit of urgency and, and they do get the ball out to the wide man, whoever they may be, sort of, all three of them, 
you included uh, Milner in there, and when they start to run at Manchester United, looks like they're going to create something. With a slow build-up, just allows Manchester United to get back. Just a little flap of the hand there for Vidic, courtesy of Emil Heskey. They look nothing, but they sting. The look of disdain Mark Lawrenson has just given me. So Alex is to his feet, chewing furiously as ever. Don't think he'll want half time to come though. No. Only a minute away, plus time to be added on. I understand that the board, when it's raised, will say three. Milner. Heskey, picked off easily by Johnny Evans, Evra. I'm just thinking of those pre-match predictions, Mark, that uh, everybody seemed to turn around and go in favour of Villa. Now Rooney's on the pitch, does that change again? Um, has to, doesn't it? World-class footballer. 11 goals in his last eight games, and six of his last seven headers. The fourth official is indicating there will be a minimum of three... Like bon minutes time allowed. Ashley Young through the legs of Vidic. The arms were then waving from both players, but I think Ashley Young was looking for something rather than realistically... No, just, again, I think, you know, Vidic doesn't have to get out of the way. I think he runs into the back of him. Yeah, eclipse his heels, it's not a foul. Kushak's clearance. It's Carrick. Berbatov with the touch onto Rooney. Berbatov's won it. Got the better of Collins. And he's made a bit of a mess of his shot. The rest of his game today has been excellent. Yes, very, very good. Collins took a risk. He tried to sort of chip it round him, didn't he, and all he succeeded and knock it straight into his midriff. To say a driving shot from 25 yards isn't the sort of goal that we associate Berbatov with. Carrick. Well, he felt he was taken out by Petrov, filled out. Uh, well, he must have been waiting to see if an advantage would develop. It was never likely to. I wonder, Guy, whether actually... Petrov touched him. Well, did the ref he thought about it, didn't did he? Did he make any contact? I'm not even sure he forced him off balance. No. Martin O'Neill certainly isn't. Very politely gets the opinion of fourth official Lee Mason. Free kick for intent. They just dropped Heskey in for a little minute, Villa, as well. Back into the midfield. Things like Bon Lahore's going to do a lot of chasing on his own for the next couple of minutes. This is Park. Now Berbatov. Valencia. Oh, Valencia has made the most of a stumble from Warnock. This is Park! Off the post! Park again! What a good tackle from Milner. And he comes away with the ball. And Villa breathe again. They look certain to be going 2-1 behind there. Well, they did. It all started right on the right with uh, Valencia when Warnock slipped. That doesn't look any particular danger at this moment, and he's just slipped. It's a decent strike as well by Park, wasn't it? Came back off Rooney's knee. Back off Quayer, I think. Yeah, sorry, Quayer it was. Pinball in the middle. Gee, Sung Park, the uh, well half a thickness of a post away from giving United the lead. Raphael, Milner, Petrov has just been caught, Berbatov is down too, Warnock struggling, Collins, oh. two Tigers chasing in there, Rooney and Raphael, but Collins got the ball clear, now treatment can be given to both players who'd hit the deck. 
Yeah, I think Ashley Young as well has smashed the ball away. He's probably fortunate the referee Oof. didn't see him. Yeah, he's caught there, wasn't he? Berbatov took one. And let's say hi. Hi. Not sure about the limp, though. Petrov's not taking his armband off, he's just readjusting it. And we've played nearly four minutes of time added on now. I think once the game restarts, Phil Dowd will just uh, have a little think about bringing first half proceedings to a close. Patrice Evra. Another look at the watch, and it is half time at Wembley. Mark, your thoughts on the first 45. Well, I got up to a cracking start, didn't it, with the Villa penalty so early on, and it was a very, very open game. I do feel as the game has gone on, and even the introduction of Rooney, that Manchester United have a little, or had a little bit more of the play, and look a little bit more constructive in front of goal, but still everything to play for here. So all square. Aston Villa off to a flying start, a fifth-minute penalty from James Milner. Eight minutes later, Manchester United were level through Michael Owen. At half-time, it's Villa 1, United 1. Thanks, Gary. So nothing to split Aston Villa or Manchester United as we get set for the next possibly decisive 45 minutes of football. Remember, no replays in this competition. Once we get to the final, there haven't been for a few years now. Extra time and penalties, should they be required. Phil Dowd's whistle signals the start of the second half at Wembley. All United's previous six visits to the new Wembley have gone to extra time, with five going to penalties. We could be in for a long afternoon yet, but good news, Mark, the sun is shining. It certainly is. First time anywhere for a while. Ashley Young. Returned by Carlos Cuellar. Interesting to see Villa's tempo at the start of this second half. Rooney. Fletcher. Rooney trying to touch the ball past uh, Richard Dunn. He then went in pretty strongly on Berbatov. The uh, Crowen's gone to United, much to Villa players' displeasure. Fletcher. Rooney. Michael Carrick. No way past Dunn. Back out to Rooney, who set his sights. 70 seconds into the second half. Yeah, he just hit across it, didn't he? I can set up nice as well from his hit across it. Rooney scored twice in his only previous League Cup final appearance, the 4-0 win over Wigan four years ago. Man of the match in that one. Johnny Evans. Rooney. Carrick with the loop up. James Collins climbed to meet it. And now James Milner will find Stuart Downing. Darren Fletcher, who was uh, 
going stride for stride with him. Agbon Lahore. Warnock. Downing. Up to Carlos Cuellar. Heskey. Now Warnock. Miller keeping the ball and passing it around in a similar style to United in the first half attacking this end. Downing. Bon Lahore will go for it. Evra got above him, won the header. Knocked Tag Bon Lahore to the floor in doing so. It's a good challenge though, isn't it? Very decisive. Enjoying his best season for goals, Gabi Agbon Lahore with 14 so far. Strongly over and up, Patrice Evra. Agbon Lahore scored the only goal of the game when these teams met at Old Trafford in December. Villa actually the only team United can't now beat in the Premier League this season. Heskey. It's Berbatov. Carrick. Park through to Berbatov, the back heel for Carrick. Carrick goes for goal, and what a good stop that is from Friedel. That's a great stop, Guy, because it looked for a moment so Carrick was going to play it down the other side of Friedel. It's great play from Manchester United. Berbatov flick again. So he pulls the ball back, you think he's going to play it to the left, to the goalkeeper's left, but it's not to the right, so it's an even better save, isn't it? Over it comes towards Vidic, done. Powered into the crowd to get his head to it. Collins wallops it away. United pressing. Michael Carrick did so well to keep his balance and his cool. Four Villa defenders around him. Scored in the second leg of the semi against City. Again with a cool finish, passing the ball into the net. Rooney. Collins makes sure it doesn't reach Berbatov. Stuart Downing now. Only Agbon Lahore ahead of him. But he can shift. Vidic has given himself a couple of yards this time. And Bon Lahore, he went for goal. Or did he? No, I don't think he did. I think he crossed it. Certainly closer to scoring than finding it. He was, yeah, but no, I do think he crossed it. He's got his head up, sees Heskey coming. Now yeah, the body shape suggested a cross. Not a particularly good one. Rooney, Berbatov. Rooney, strong in the face of pressure from Collins. Milner. Popped up in his own box to do good defensive work several times, James Milner. Yeah, he managed to ferret the ball away in the first half after Park had hit the post, didn't he? The player who got us going today with the fifth-minute penalty. Really confidently taken and scored. Ashley Young. Downing. The cross is deflected. Vidic is able to pass it away to Carrick. Great touch by Carrick as well into Fletcher. Rooney to Valencia. Warnock backing away. Valencia likes the sight of that. Now taking the long route round. Warnock stuck to his task and blocked the cross. Downing. Agbon Lahore. Room in the centre circle for James Milner here. Ashley Young wants it played over to the right. Instead it's into the feet of Heskey. Heskey trying to turn past Evans. Now Ashley Young does get the ball. And beats Patrice Everett. There's a stumble into the penalty area, but uh, that's what it was.
Didn't even bother to ask for the free kick. No, he didn't. Game's just starting to open out a little bit as well here. Valencia. Park. It's Berbatov trying to chest it down to Rooney. Forced away from goal. And then he loses out to Collins. Great touch by Dunn, wasn't it? He's took the ball away from Rooney. That's Vidic. And Kushak clears. Milner. Downing. He's been caught. Just a few little niggly late fouls. Evra. Now Park. Rooney moves out to the left-hand side to help him. It's Rooney against Collins. And Quayer. Collins it was with a touch, and it ricochets back off the England striker. And it'll be a goal kick. Just wonder if he thought about maybe getting Collins to back away towards a the box there, Rooney. I know he conceded a yellow. And that's Richard Dunn with yeah, the a touch. excellent intervention. Now, this was Ashley Young a few moments ago. Looked to me as though he was fouled by Patrice Everett, but, well, in fairness, the player knows better than anybody, and he didn't appeal for anything. He didn't. Warnock. It's Raphael. We haven't seen Raphael really tested by... Downing on the left-hand side pace-wise. I remember Craig Bellamy giving him all sorts of problems. Must be sick of the sight of left wingers though here. You might you might say that Villa have three potentially, don't they? Downing, Young, and Milner if you want. Make it four, at Bonlahor. Yeah, possibly. Done. Raphael. A very even start to the second half. That's over the whole game, mind you. And that shows that one all is about the right scoreline if you uh, really do take seriously all the possession statistics. And we did forecast an even contest. Carrick blocked by Dunn. United started the game marginal favourites, but uh, nothing much in it. Can Villa break? It's not exactly a pacey gamble forward by Petrov. It's Raphael winning the ball from Agbon Lahore and Valencia managing to keep it away from Downing. Oh, the crowd's woken up now. Half time T's gone down. Berbatov. Rooney. Never got it under control. Heskey. Ashley Young will keep that in. Just. Away from Fletcher. Agbon Lahore getting into the centre. Vidic stopped the cross. Too high for Agbon Lahore. Now Downing. Heskey is into the penalty area now. It's deflected up into the air. Kushak will come to punch. Met it successfully. Petrov. Thought about it and will again. Might not next time. No, he just uh, he wanted to hit that so hard, didn't he? And he did everything but. Good play by Vidic beforehand as well when Young was through. He just got himself in a great position to block the cross. Just stood his ground and read exactly where the ball was going. Well, Petrov scored a fortnight ago in the FA Cup at Palace. That was his first of the season. That wasn't anywhere near being his second. Used to be a prolific goal scorer in Scotland with Celtic, scored 64 goals in seven years. When he played in the green and white hoops. Just got six for Villa so far in, well, this is now his 145th game. He's a player who's turned it around, mind you. I know he wasn't very popular with Villa fans at first, but won all their Player of the Year awards last season. Well, he's the one who makes some play, makes some tick, doesn't he?
Villa fans just winning the current noise battle that's being waged. That might change if United can break forward. Valencia. Rooney's let it run. It didn't reach Berbatov. Well, it was meant for Berbatov, wasn't it? Tell the pace on the ball. Arm to arm, Agbon Lahore and Evans. Warnock. Fletcher. Park. He's asked an awful lot of Wayne Rooney there. Especially if he is still feeling under the weather. Collins' clearance wasn't a particularly good one, though. United will come back again. Fletcher. Park hits behind Carrick, but it was a good adjustment from the midfielder. Valencia. Swung over towards Rooney. Ashley Young will happily let that one roll and accept a throw-in for Aston Villa. Carrick left it for Fletcher. Fletcher beaten to it by Petrov. Young. Milner. Downing. Up against Raphael. Gets it over towards Heskey. There was a just a little trip or a stumble from Emil Heskey. Ashley Young. Against Jisung Park, but forced to fire the ball behind. Yeah, I just thought that Heskey stumbled trying to set himself, didn't he, for the get on the end of the cross. Oh, Villa getting their wingers more into it. Just they've started to in the last five minutes, guys, certainly. You say that the game really has started to stretch now, he stretched. Done. Villa fans have started to sing their John Carew anthem. He is amongst the Aston Villa substitutes today. It's been a regular place for him this season. There is the big Norwegian. Park. Everett, an easy catch for Brad Friedel. England won't have to worry about trying to beat him at the World Cup. His international days are done with the USA. Fletcher. Valencia. Rafael got away from Downing, nearly ran into trouble. That's Evans to Rooney. Fletcher. Out to Valencia. Two to beat. Fletcher. Valencia. It's Carrick returning the ball. Fletcher bursting into the penalty area. Valencia takes it wide. Rooney trying to time his jump, now Jisung Park. Rooney, off balance, off target. It's Milner as well down, he must have a knock on his ankle. Decent turn, wasn't it? I just wonder if it was James Collins who caught his teammate Milner there. As they both went in to try to stop Rooney. Milner seems OK. He was here the last time Aston Villa won the League Cup. 1996, he was here as a 10-year-old in the Leeds United end.
Raphael has made a meal of getting that away. Straight against Downing and then out of play and then a problem with cramp, it would seem. It's a little bit early to get cramp in this match. An hour. Well, there's a decent right back to have available as substitute. Just stretching out as though he had overstretched. There's a bit of a jar, isn't there? Off the pitch. It's like a double movement on the right leg. Well, it's the left leg that needs treatment. <laughs> I just backed up my earlier yeah. medical opinion of myself. Yeah. Spec savers, it's called, guy, I think. <laughs> it looks like it is cramped, doesn't it? Yeah, well, that's, that's exactly the... The routine you'd go through if you got cramped, certainly. Why does that seem to happen at Wembley in these big occasions? Nerves as well, as much as anything, I think. Nervous tension. And the pitch is quite wet, isn't it? Well, if a 19-year-old does have to leave the action early, we have just seen the perfect available replacement. Oof, what about cramp, he nearly cut himself in half. It's a very heavy hobble. One thing for sure, Gary Neville will be absolutely pumped and ready to play his part. For the moment, United are a man down, and the signal to the bench is there's going to have to be a change. We are going to see Gary Neville. Warnock. Downing. Kushak will let that one sail over his head and indeed sail out of play and uh, United will want to make the change now. Yeah, the other thing as well is his Duf has been uh, on an extensive warm-up. He's still there by the referee's assistant on the far side, so I wonder whether that was give yourself ten minutes, you could be coming on also. That would possibly change now if Neville comes on. Well, talking of giving yourself ten minutes, the news from the touchline that we've just been given is that they can't make the change yet because... Gary Neville's had to go and answer a call of nature. But the other thing as well is, that Raphael wants to come back on, you know. They might have to in a moment. This is Berbatov. United carry on with ten in the meantime. Headed away by Collins. Cleared by Quayer. Carrick. Raphael has just uh, limped back onto the field. United keep the ball down this end, it won't be a problem for them. Rooney. Fletcher. Here's Valencia. Stayed patiently wide on the touchline, waiting for the ball. And then crossing deep. Carlos Quare nods out of play. And Gary Neville has raced back from the dressing room and uh, is all ready. Well, the golden rule is don't make a change just before a corner, but United and don't have a choice United here. Well, more so if you defend in the corner, I feel. Raphael gives way Aiden to Gary Neville. To Gary Neville. Playing for Manchester United now for just the 588th time. Corner taken short, headed away by Heskey. Ji Sung Park. Straight into Petrov, who got right in park sight. And Bon Lahore. Milner. Petrov has been left poleaxed by that shot from Park. This is Warnock. And uh, Villa's players are being urged to put it out so that their captain can receive some treatment. Winded. Hmm. I should stop trying to diagnose these problems, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that is winded. Winded on his back. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's hurt anyway. Deep breaths. Berbatov has just gone across to get the magic spray on the thigh. All sorts of medical problems at Wembley today. As you mentioned, Mame Biram Duf has been warming up. Possible impact substitute, the 22-year-old from Senegal. Petrov's OK, he's got his breath back. It's been a much slower second half in general, hasn't it? Yes, yeah, certainly. 
And we've got a quarter of the game to go. Or perhaps not, because we could, of course, be heading towards extra time at Wembley. It's always the way when Manchester United come here. The Villa, this is their first time since Wembley's redevelopment. Their first final anywhere since the FA Cup final at the Grand Old Stadium here in 2000. And they lost by a goal to nil to Chelsea. Speaking of which, Gianluca Viali is here today. Spoke to him before kickoff, and he wasn't surprised at Rooney not starting. Another yellow card, and uh, oh, Nemanja Vidic has got his caution. 62 minutes after he should have been possibly shown red. Well, it makes a mockery out of the early decision not to give him anything, doesn't it? And a lot of chuntering going on amongst the Aston Villa contingent in the crowd. And there goes another yellow and green balloon. Ashley Young to take the Villa free kick. Villa have scored 11 headed goals this season in the Premier League. Almost a third of the goals that they've scored. Young over. And they won't score a header from that sort of delivery. It was straight into the gloves of Kusha. Who hasn't had an awful lot to do. I'd say the same about Friedel. One good save apiece, maybe. Neville. For all that, it's been a pretty good game and continues to be. Yeah, good and open. James Collins. Heskey. Good feet from Stuart Downing, and he's got the ball back again. That's deflected behind. Villa have a corner. And Villa fans have really responded to that. Great roar from that end of the ground. Villa are attacking their own supporters. Be left footed into Inger as well. Oldfield Downing on it, yeah. Quayer, Collins, Dunn, all up. Over it comes from Downing, Carrick flicked it across. It's going to fall for Ashley Young. Straight into the deck and it bounces wide. Oh, what a golden opportunity that is. Probably had to wait so long, it felt like it's taken age to come out of the sky, but it's a really good opportunity. Just, just hit the target from here, look. And in keeping with that all-improved brand-new Dimitar Berbatov, it was his defensive header away. Done. Heskey. Oh, Downing with a heavy touch, presented it to Patrice Evra. Now Rooney. Straight against Collins, he goes back in for more. Cuellar gets it away to Milner. Petrov. Heskey. And Bon Lahore with a hand off against Vidic and works hard to win the ball for Villa. Petrov. Collins. Stephen Warnock. There's Milner. And Quayer. Downing. Carlos Quayer again. Centre back turned right back. Not quite turned right winger. And that was a good tackle to win it back. It's Wayne Rooney who lost possession, but then. Very fortunately, got it back again. I think that's a free kick. Petrov through the back of Everett. It's a wasted opportunity as well, the cross from McQuayer. Darren Fletcher. There's Berbatov. At the top of your screen, Sir Alex Ferguson is right at the very limits of his technical area. That's the first time he's got to his feet since the break. Urging his team on, wanting a little bit more from them. This is Valencia. 
Trying to tee up Michael Carrick. Collins and Dunn straight away, right in front of him. Great block. Downing. Agbon Lahore. Vidic trying to stop him before he can get into his full stride. Now he's going to have to face him at pace. And it was easy enough for Vidic. Milner. Only Heskey in the middle. Coming across here is Ashley Young. Had to wait for it. And then loses out to Valencia. It's the Villa fans who are screaming for a penalty. Half an ask from Young. Yeah, he did well though, Valencia, didn't he? He forced him to go the way that he wanted him to go and just picks Gary the Neville. ball off him. Rooney. No Carrick. Valencia. United fans have burst into a chant of attack, attack, attack. They're doing that slowly right now. Valencia. Increases the pace. Clips it in for Rooney. Another headed goal for Wayne Rooney. Named as a substitute into the action early. Now he makes his inevitable mark on the match. Well, yeah, it's just such a tantalising cross as well, wasn't it? Manchester United goal scorer, 10. Again, Valencia into Berbatov. Just stood up for him, look. It's a great header. Just enough on it as well. That is perfect placement. Brad Friedel took a step to his right. He couldn't get up high enough to stop it looping over him. You could see with Friedel, as soon as it left Rooney's head, he was always going to struggle to get that. 12 goals in his last nine games. And Wayne Rooney just can't stop scoring with his head. Milner. Eski to Warnock. Now Villa have to gamble. Downing. Agbon Lahore. Not allowed to turn. Berbatov. Jisung Park. Rooney to the left hand side. Park might want to do it all by himself here. It's a really good run from the South Korean. And an excellent tackle from Richard Dunn. Just wondered whether it was a foul. Fletcher. Rooney. Valencia. It's Berbatov stretching. Any sort of touch. And United would have had a two goal lead. Yeah, great little ball then, wasn't it? Wonder how Villa will react in terms of trying to force a pace now, substitute wise. Well, Heskey's getting a sweat on. Milner. A little bit more urgency about Villa moving forward now. Perhaps too much. It's another. Four across from Carlos Cuellar. Well, against West Ham in the week, it was two Valencia crosses onto the head of Wayne Rooney. That was another Valencia cross that nearly led to Berbatov scoring. Yeah, there's no doubt for the Rooney goal, he actually he picks him out, gets his head up, of course, which in that position is the great advantage, and picked him out, and it was, it was always curling in towards Rooney with the cross. Nine headed goals this season, seven of his last eight have been scored that way. And what was that statistic we saw before the game? Only four headed goals in his entire career before this season. And as it stands, he's the player who wins the Carling Cup for his team. Aston Villa have 13 minutes plus injury time left to respond. Milner. Headed away by Vidic. They'll make a change very soon, Villa, I think. Park. Look how high up the pitch Richard Dunn is. He's going to have to get back with Rooney on the ball. Now Carrick. 
Neville. Valencia. Warnock in his way. Past Warnock. He claims handball. Valencia continues. Rooney again! Off the post. Warnock just about gets his balance back and his bearings to clear. Well, Valencia's had an unbelievable five minutes here. Again, it's another great cross left by Berbatov. Well, those two are a dream combination for United right now. Valencia and Rooney. He'll think he should have scored. Yeah. Perfect downward header as well, isn't it? In terms of technique. And he was the player essentially bought to replace Cristiano Ronaldo, Luis Antonio Valencia. Here's Fletcher. And Friedel has that under his control. He's a different sort of player to Ronaldo, but he's made his type of impact on the game today. Will he be the man to rescue this for Villa? Big John Carew. Milner. Warnock. Agbon Lahore. Agbon Lahore returns the ball to Stephen Warnock. Villa not going anywhere particularly quickly here. Downing. Vidic away. That's Petrov. Ashley Young. Hooks the ball away from Rooney. Quayer. It'll be a throw and it'll be a change. Martin O'Neill wants to make it now. John Carew is the player to come on. And uh, the man with the ball in his hand, Carlos Quayer, is going to be replaced. That will obviously mean a reshuffle. And it obviously means a little bit more potency in attack for Villa now. Milner go play right back, maybe. Looks that way. Certainly going across to take the throw in. Yeah. Milner on the ball. Carew's first touch. Berbatov away with it. It's come off Valencia's arm, and it is going to be a free kick for Villa. Well, if one doesn't get you, the other one will, or in today's case, both of them. Petrov. Down it. Here's Warnock. Richard Dunn is up as an extra striker here. And he knocks the ball down. Carrick it is who gets it away. Well, Villa have got to go for broke now. Milner. Downing. That's a good ball in. It's deflected and it's well saved by Kushak. That might just have been creeping under the crossbar. Yeah, I don't know whether it's Collins who got the header, but it's a great cross in, left-footed, swinging in. He attacked it really well, Villa, as well. Came off a Manchester United player last. Kushak was ready when he was needed. Ashley Young to take the Villa corner. Heskey to make life awkward for Evans and Kushak. Young in. Dunn was climbing, or it looked that way. Yeah, appeals for a handball against Berbatov. Warnock. Done. Collins. Cross was semi deflected. Downing against Rooney. Rooney wins, but then gives it away. It was well cut out by Petrov. This is John Carew. 
It's broken back to Agbon Lahore. It's Rooney's header, and it's a Villa corner again. Well, they're giving it a real go. They have to. Yeah, they do. We get a real threat now again, left-footed corner coming in. Up goes Richard Dunn, and the whistle has gone. I think it was a good save by Kushak, actually, but this time it is climbing over the top. Yeah, That's some leverage to get the header. Eski and Evans, arms locked. Yeah, he's taking a ride on Berbatov, isn't he? Yeah. So they've gone. I mean, Avila just, you know, Carew, and it's, uh, it was Heskey with the header first. Came off Vidic. Yeah. And off the bar. I don't think it was a save from Kushak, you know, in the end. That's a familiar sight. Martin O'Neill hopping around. And look how desperate he is for his side to turn this around. It's not been a constant story of success in the League Cup for Martin O'Neill. He did lose a final here with Leicester. Here's Wayne Rooney. And there's Stephen Warnock. Also lost one with Nottingham Forest as a player, famously to Wolves and an Andy Gray goal. Park. Here's Valencia. Trying to find Berbatov. Friedel comes and flaps at it, but importantly got two hands to it. And Bon Lahore. Evra loses it. And has clattered into Ashley Young. It's out to Valencia. The flag is down. Only Berbatov in the centre. Valencia holding off at Bon Lahore. Now Berbatov! And he must have been put off by Collins. Yeah, well, it's no doubt Collins slid in at him. I think he'd made his mind at what he wanted to do with it, Berbatov, but completely skied it. Manchester United substitution. United G changed. Jason Park. Park's going to go off. And uh, Darren Gibson is his replacement. Park's put in his usual shift. Yeah, he's, he has. Uh, we always say he's the underrated player in the United squad who always... Well, he seems to always perform. Nice played well today. Looks like they're going to go a sort of three, a central three in midfield. Took Rooney in onto the left, Valencia on the right. So they've got five in there now. Just left Berbatov up on his own. Kind of reverted back to the shape we expected them to start with in many ways. Although yeah. Carrick's Ro down, guy. Yeah, Rooney and Valencia weren't exactly drive forward with this lead to protect. Carrick down, just a moment after the third substitution has been made. And Villa have just, they've just gone the four up front, haven't they? I've gone the horse now playing on the left, down in on the right, and the two big guys, Carew and Heskey, through the middle. Just over four minutes of the regulation 90 to go. Manchester United on the brink of retaining the Carling Cup. They are, of course, chasing an unprecedented fourth English League title in a row. They've never retained a cup before. Carrick's OK. Kushak opts for maximum distance and height. Valencia. Pushed by Petrov. Very keen to hit the floor. Yeah, it was pushed though, wasn't it? And Gary Neville in no great hurry to take the free kick as Manchester United begin their rendition of victory songs. Flags up. That's pretty sloppy. Mm. Valencia, the culprit. We're getting towards launch time for Aston Villa now. Oh, it has to be. Has to be route one. Perfect man to be on the end of it in Carew. And Heskey. Here's Downing. Pulling it across. Carrick in the right place to just calmly touch the ball away to Rooney.
Lovely skill that from Darren Gibson. And an adventurous run from the substitute. And he's got a corner for Manchester United. Well, it's clever play from everybody in terms of Manchester United going forward. To say, calmness personified from Carrick, just played the ball out and all of a sudden United are some 85, 90 yards down the other end of the pitch. It's a rather barren Aston Villa box. Just the four white-shirted defenders, nobody in red. Rooney's going to take it, but to whom? Oh, Fletcher makes a token effort. Everett. There's Ashley Young. James Milner. Downing. Two minutes to go, plus injury time. Comes off Everett. It's a Villa throw. Collins. Little slip as he fired it forward. Milner. And Zach Bon Lahore. Milner. Heskey with the jump. Dunn was in front of him. Richard Dunn again. Now it's Ashley Young, and now Stuart Downing to lift one. Dunn got in there, but a little too late. Just couldn't quite get enough on it, could he? Just came in round the back of Agbon Lahore. It might only need one Villa chance. It's a clever ball by Downing. Just lifted it up. A huge figure of Richard Dunn came piling through. Oh, you can feel Martin O'Neill's angst. Collins. Ashley Young. Just about kept it away from Rooney, but Berbatov is there to take it up and take it into the corner. Rooney. Brilliantly done. Berbatov. Oh, this will be so frustrating for Villa supporters. Berbatov, though, has just uh, touched it behind. It's a goal kick. We're moving into injury time. And Aston Villa need a goal. There will be at least four more minutes to play. Carew on to Heskey. There's Michael Carrick, who's filling in as an extra defender. A very, very accomplished one, too. Warnock. Done. Clever little hook into the box. Cleared again by Carrick. This is Milner. Petrov. Another header from Carrick. And United break away, and it's four against two here. It's Valencia, make it three against two. Berbatov has dropped out of it. Valencia's gone for goal. And he's hit the side, netting hard. He never really seemed to have a look at anybody else, and he just decided it was head down. Time to go. Gibson. Free kick United. And another decision that adds up to them winning the Carling Cup again. Just a couple of minutes or so away now. The disappointment for Martin O'Neill. And yet another trophy to add to his great collection. The most decorated club manager in English and Scottish football history. This looks like being number 32. Is that all? <laughs> there might be a few more before uh, he finally takes his bus pass. Friedel. There might yet be hope for Aston Villa before the afternoon is over. It's a faint hope now. 
and even more faint when the flag goes up against them for offside. Uh, right. How? How did you work that one out? Well, that's quite an incredible decision. I think white and red were getting mixed up in Sean Proctor Green's mind there. Not going to be Villa's day. Maybe, right. maybe another chance with Kushak putting that straight out. Absolutely, but they're, all, they're going to point to the Vidic incident, aren't they? Oh, they absolutely will, and I think they've got every right to Aston Villa. They might yet get another opportunity. That's going to bounce out for a throw in, cleared by Johnny Evans. We're into the fourth minute of injury time at Wembley. The board said four. James Milner is going to hurl this one deep into the United box. James Collins being tracked by Darren Gibson. Over it comes from Milner. Helped across towards Heskey. It's out for Petrov, who can't shoot. Young. Agbon Lahore wide. And that will be just about it. And he knows it too. Yeah. Just not quite enough as Manchester United have carried that the better goal threat throughout the whole of the second half guy and have edged the game here for me. Eric Steele, the goalkeeper coach, has a little word with Sir Alex Ferguson, former Brighton teammate of yours, Mark. Yeah, let's call him stainless. <laughs> and it's the yellow and green scarves and the red and white scarves that are waving because Manchester United have retained the Carling Cup. And for the first time, here at the new Wembley Stadium, they've managed to win a major match without the aid of penalties. Michael Owen with an equalising goal, and Wayne Rooney, it had to be, with the winning goal, with his head. It's Manchester United's year in the Carling Cup once again, and it's another trophy for Sir Alex Ferguson and his all-conquering Red Devils. And if Aston Villa fans will just excuse me for a moment, I guess Mark Wayne Rooney, the form he's in, is a fitting match winner. Yeah, absolutely, especially as uh, we're told that he didn't start because he's got a dose of flu as well. It's just an absolutely brilliant header on the back of a fantastic cross from Valencia. And disappointment for Aston Villa, but you, d you do feel in the second half that Manchester United, don't forget Ro Rooney as well, hitting the post. They did have other opportunities, great save, Friedel made from Carrick as well. Paul Scholes didn't manage to get onto the field today, but he'll be uh, claiming another medal for his collection. And let's get down to the pitch where Damian Johnson has caught up with the match winner. The words of Wayne Rooney, a consoling pat there for Richard Dunn from the unused Aston Villa contingent today. Let's get down again and hear from uh, Nemanja Vidic, who I think is with Ivan Gaskill down on the pitch.
Nemanja Vidic now three times a League Cup winner. Another person who's now won this competition three times. He's scored in the two finals that he's played in is Michael Owen, who's down there with Damien Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation, please, for the gallant runners up of the Carlin Cup final 2010, Aston Villa, who will now receive their medals at the Royal Box. So it's the uh, beaten team who've made the long walk up those many steps, first of all. You can see the disappointment led by their captain, Stylian Petrov. Villa not yet able to reach the heights of winning their first trophy under Martin O'Neill's management. But it is one step towards it. Those steps must feel awfully heavy when you've been beaten. Cup medals, incidentally, both winners and runners up struck at Vorton's in Birmingham. I'm sure they'll be disappointed that the runners up version will be going back to that city. Wayne Rooney, match winner for Manchester United, off the bench to score the winner with his head. That's been the way for him in recent weeks. We were told he was struggling with a touch of flu in the week. He said post match that it was a bit of a niggle. Certainly, he's been a niggle in the side of many a team this season. He won the semi-final for United. He's won the final for United. Mame Biramjuf, this is a new experience for him. He's signing from Molder in Norway. As a Manchester United player, the general signs are that he'd better get used to it. Supporters are, of course, well used to this feeling. There will be a great roar when that trophy is lifted by Patrice Everett. But every year, it seems to be a different captain picking up the pots for Manchester United. And this time, it is Evra's turn. A player who has arguably been their most outstanding performer all season long. Takes his medal, takes the cup, and once again, the Carling Cup belongs to Manchester United. We saw that second in line, collecting the Alan Hardecker trophy for man of the match, was Luis Antonio Valencia. 
as nominated by members of the written press. There he is, clutching the trophy. It was presented to him by the uh, great-grandson of the former league secretary, Alan Hardacre. The League Cup was his idea way back with the first edition in 1961. And in the 50th year of this competition, Manchester United's name is on the trophy once again. For the fourth time, it began in 1992, and in 2006, 2009, and now 2010, it's Sir Alex Ferguson's team who have won it once more. Wayne Rooney has won the final for Manchester United. They've beaten Aston Villa at Wembley by two goals to one.